Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in week number 5, lecture 5.2. In this week, we are covering solving nonlinear algebraic equations. And in today's lecture, we are going to focus on using MATLAB function F0. The MATLAB function F0 is a method to solve a linear, a single nonlinear equation in a single unknown. In the previous lecture, we have seen the bisection method, which was a method to com compute the solution to f of x equal to 0, given two initial guesses. Uh, the two initial guesses lie on either side of the solution. F0 is a MATLAB program that uses a technique similar to bisection rule. It uses bisection and a couple of other techniques depending on the problem statement. So we are going to do two things in today's lecture. First, see how to use the function F0. Second, we are going to modify the bisection rule that we made, the program that we made in the previous lecture in order to do and understand bisection rule and understand numerical equation solving in a better way. Okay, so let's look at the MATLAB function F0. We are going to use F0 in order to solve the same equation that we did in the previous lecture. That equation was 2 minus x plus ln x. Okay, now if we are going to do help F0, we will find out how to use F0. Some of the most important things I have listed over here. The usage of F0 is going to be as follows. The solution x sol, that is the output from F0, equal to f0 followed by the name of the function in the variable in the x variable followed by the initial guess x sol is the resulting solution fun name is the name of the function that returns the value of f of x given the variable x okay there are different ways in matlab in order to pass on the name of the name of the function to a calling function we are going to use basically this at, func at representation uh, using what is known as anonymized functions representation. Okay, uh, so this is the method that we are going to use. As seen over here, the method is as shown is at followed by in brackets the name of the variables that you need to solve for followed by a space followed by the name of the function in which you will use to get the value f of x equal to 0 that you want to solve. So fun name is going to return f of x given the function uh, given the values of variable x. Okay. Now fun name itself can have other parameters as well in which case we will have the other parameter listed over here. This x and this x should be the same. Okay, that is the variable that F0 is going to solve for when we use this MATLAB function F0. Okay, there are various, as I said, there are other ways of using functions as well. And the most common way is to use at fun name. Uh, we are not going to use that particular method for because that is somewhat of an older method and this uh, method of using functions, although a little less uh, simpler in the beginning is actually a very very powerful method okay so let's go on in matlab and use function f0 in order to solve f of x equal to 0 so edit let's say uh, fun for uh, bisect okay so we are going to use the function uh, and the name of the function i'm just going to call it fun for bisect okay so function f val equal to fun for bisec x that's the name of our function okay keep in mind the name of the function that we have right over here should be the same this name has to be the same as the name of the file the file name is what you, the uh, what MATLAB recognizes the function as. So as far as we are concerned, the name of the function that we write over here and the name of the file always needs to be the same. Okay, and the function that we have, our f of x is nothing but f val equal to 2 minus x plus log of x and end end is optional so as a good co uh, programming practice we are going to include uh, the end also over here 
okay so now let's say what the fun for bisect is going to be for x equal to 1 so a for x equal to 1 so we will say x equal to 1 uh, and f is just 2 minus x plus log of x okay and for x equal to 1 2 minus x plus log of x that value is also equal to 1 uh, let's call that function fun for bisect using x and that should return the value of 1 okay let's say we were to call it using 2 that should return f of 2 if we call it using 3 it will return f of 3 if we call it using 4 it will return f of 4 okay if you recall from the previous lecture we had given our initial guesses our xl we had given as equal to 1 our xu we had given equal to 4 the reason why we had done that was xl for at xl f of 1 was equal to 1 at xu f of 4 was equal to minus 0 0.6137 which are of opposite signs uh, if you recall in bisection method we needed to give uh, xl and xu of opposite signs and that's what is uh, we need to do uh, uh, in f0 as well so now that we have created that function okay we are going to say xol equal to f0 okay at x okay x is the variable that we want to solve for so at x space bar the name of the function the name of the function is fun for bisect x okay so f of x is the name of that is the function so f of x is exactly what we give over here okay this is nothing but our f of x just before f of x we need to give with at inside in and inside the bracket the name of the variables that we need we are going to solve for and our initial guesses are 1 and 4 we will separate them with either a comma or a semicolon okay and we press enter and we will get x solve if you recall from the lecture 5.1 3.4162 indeed was the solution that we got in the previous lecture okay let's go over again okay in the syntax of f0 f0 is going to be x sol the solution is going to be f0 in brackets the name of the function name of function uh, of variable x comma the initial guesses our initial guesses were 1 and 4 okay now before the name of the function and x what we had was the variable that we need to solve for at x so at in bracket the variable we need to solve for followed by name of the function file the function file was fun for bisect i will play type fun for and play and press a tab over here and matlab will autofill this for me based on the function names that match with fun for okay so this is really this is really the main part of f0 the main part of f0 is how to pass on that function and what are or how to give the initial guesses okay we press semicolon at the end of it and we will get the solution without echoing on the screen okay and we get xol okay let's say we were to give this instead of 1 and 4 let's say we were to give this as 2 and 4 again 2 and 4 bracket the solution and to bracket the same solution and if we were to press enter we are going to get the same solution again if you see on to your left hand side our value of xol has not really changed our xol is the same as 3.1462 okay now instead if we were to give our initial guesses as 0 and 1 okay okay now this is a problem the problem is because log of 0 cannot be obtained so let's change this from 0 let's change to a very small number say 1e minus 5 and let's see what we get okay 
and we give this and now we are getting the other solution the other solution was 0 0.1586 and the first solution was 3.1462 recall what we did in uh, the previous lecture we had shown that the curve intersects the x-axis at two different points we have now found out how to get both the solutions using f0 okay so let's go back to powerpoint okay what the problem that we just solved was to use f0 to solve the nonlinear equation 2 minus x plus ln x. We have created a function called fun for bisect and used that function and passed it on to f0. Now what we are going to do is the bisection method from the previous lecture. We are going to modify it. Okay, Instead of hard coding our f of x inside our bisection method, we want to use the function that we just created for f0 and we are going to use that function in our bisection method. So let's go back to MATLAB and do that. Okay, So again, to, just to recap what our aim is, let me bring up our let's clear and CLC clear all let's edit our uh, uh, bisection rule that we created in the previous lecture and we are going to modify that okay in what we had done was this f of x we had directly hard coded it in the overall running program use a new method in which we are going to use this function fun for bisect that we recently created in order to solve using the bisection rule okay and this change is going to be fairly simple and everywhere where we are going to calculate function you uh, the function we are going to replace it with the function call itself so fun for bisect xl okay that's all remember what we did a few minutes earlier right we said fun for bisect okay and fun for bisect 4 gave nothing but the value of the function fun for bisect 1 gave nothing but the value of the function if we were to say x equal to 4 and we were to call fun for bisect with x it's going to give the value of the function f of x so all we're going to do is change this to fun for bisect so let's just change this to fun for bisect and f nu is also going to be fun for bisect f nu sorry f, f nu is going to be fun for bisect x nu fun for bisect and that's all that's all the changes that we need to do there's nothing else that's changed let's save this and solve it uh, in matlab okay and the way we're going to do is bisect rule enter and let's see our x new and x new is 3.1462 now let's change our initial guesses let's instead of 1 and 4 let's change them to 0 or rather 1 e minus 5 and 1 and let's run this fun for bisect sorry let's run this bisect rule and see what the solution is going to be x new is going to be 0 0.1586 as we had obtained uh, using our uh, f0 method as well okay and finally what we are going to do is we are going to make one more change in our matlab code and we are going to have a stopping criteria based on uh, an error criteria okay uh, so error tolerance or let's call this as tall x okay error in x is 1 e minus 6 so if the error falls below or if x new minus xl falls below 1 e minus 6 we are going to stop this solution technique and that's what we are going to do over here if abs of err is going to be less than tall x okay then break this is something that we have seen earlier also end so we are going to break in less than 25 iterations so let's actually change the max iter to 100 okay 
so that we give enough uh, number of iterations for the bisection rule in order for it to converge. Let's give the our initial guesses as before r1 e minus 5 and 1. Let's save this and run bisect rule. Let's clear the screen CLC and bisect rule. Okay, and our x new in this case is 1 point sorry 0 0.1586 okay and our uh, and if we check our error our error is uh, 9 into 10 to the power minus 7 which is less than 10 to the power minus 6 okay so now let's do one final thing change the initial guesses back to 1 and 4 and see how this runs okay and run this bisect rule and press enter and our x new is going to be the solution 3.1462 that's the other solution over here our error is going to be 7 into 10 to the power minus 7 so our solution 3.1462 has converged to the error uh, tolerance that we needed and if we type i we will know that we have converged in 23 iterations okay so what we have done to recap what we have done in this lecture we have done two things in this lecture the first thing that we did was to use f0 in order to solve the nonlinear equation 2 minus x plus ln x the second thing that we did was to make our bisection rule better with two different things one is to make it use the function uh, fun for bisect instead of uh, hard coding it inside the uh, script file itself. The second change we did was uh, that we stopped when a particular stopping criteria was met. When the tolerance value was less than the desired accuracy, at that time we stopped the execution of the loop rather than letting the loop continue for a large number of iterations. Okay, so with that I come to the end of this lecture. So thank you for listening to this lecture and in the next lecture we are going to cover the next set of numerical techniques for nonlinear algebraic equation specifically we are going to start with fixed point iteration which is an open method and not a bracketing method. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.